Hello everybody and welcome to Ian's Bricks. My name is Ian and uh, I've been buying Lego again, typical me, uh, and I've got quite a, quite a few boxes to open here. Uh, the majority of this stuff is actually from Amazon. There have been some really, really good deals uh, over the past couple of weeks on Amazon in the UK. Uh, and there's also one box from lego.com as well. So I'm going to start with a big box at the bottom. First box is from Amazon then. I've got my trusty knife. So we have some quite big sets in here. So the first one is this set here, Star Wars set. There we go. So uh, this is set number 75336. This is the Inquisitor Transport Scythe. Uh, this is a set apparently that will be retiring at the end of 2023. Uh, I don't have any of these yet. Um, they normally retail, I think, in the UK at £90, so it's quite an expensive set. Uh, and Amazon had a special deal uh, where basically... Um, I think they were down to £63, so uh, I think they have been lower on maybe other Amazons in Europe and Germany and France maybe, but uh, I like to generally try and stick to get mine from the UK. I have to say there's a slight amount of box damage, you can maybe see a couple of little sort of lines on the box, but it's fairly minimal, there's a little little scuff there in the middle perhaps you can see but actually generally it's not too bad some decent minifigures in this one if I can sort of show you those on the front there I don't know if any of them are exclusive probably one or two of them are but yeah I, I want to be wanting to get myself some of these for quite a while I've just been waiting for the prices to go down um, and so oh I got myself two of those Actually, the second box is in much better condition, pretty much perfect condition, so nice to get myself two of those. And the other set that I got was this here. It's another big set. And this is also retails at £90 in the UK. It's a City Space set, 60350. Uh, there's no name on this one, but I think it's uh, like a, a, a space space base but loads of stuff going on here you get quite a few minifigures with this as well so I do actually quite like this set um, space sets tend to do um, okay once they retire from Lego City obviously it's not classic space but I think it'll still do quite well so this was half price normally £90 and they had them on Amazon in the UK for a short time for £45 uh, so I think that was a really really good deal so uh, I got not only one of those but two of those, goodness me those boxes are very large, so two of those sets as well. What's interesting is both of these sets normally cost £90 and you can see the difference in the box sizes there. Uh, weight wise, uh, it's not actually not much difference in the weight so don't know why they do that but uh, anyway so two sets, two lots of sets, two lots of two sets that I hadn't actually bought before and I've got another Amazon box here. I think I remember what's in this one. Fantastic. So the good news is, is that inside the main box I've got three of these boxes. again so let's get into one of these they're all the same sets again I've been buying three three of these particular sets and this is another Star Wars set which is this one here which is Boba Fett's throne room so uh, oh I do like this set, I've already bought a few of these um, and they're quite regularly discounted on uh, Amazon in the UK. They're normally £90 is the recommended retail price but I haven't paid that for any of these that I've bought. Um, and I think they were on at £67 but then they had an additional voucher which you could claim for on top of that which was another £7.50. And I also had 
quite a lot of uh, top cashback vouchers that uh, um, came through and uh, some um, some uh, voucher cloud vouchers as well so I think in total I had 48 pounds worth of additional sort of money to take off my Amazon I turned them into Amazon gift cards uh, and I had an extra 48 pounds off so I managed to buy three of these sets uh, and the, the actual buy-in price for me for these was just over £40. So I got massive, massive discounts on these. As I say, these recommended retail price are 90 Um So I got a very, very good deal on these. So I've got three of them all together. So that's one of them there. Uh, really nice minifigures in this particular set. Again, loads of minifigures there, which is great. So let me open the other two boxes behind me and get those all open so you can see them all. That's all those boxes open and I have to say the condition of all those boxes is very very good because they come in sort of a separate box each it means I can store them quite easily as well uh, so really pleased how they've all arrived. So the next box here this is actually from lego.com if I can get these tabs open if I can figure it out Right, okay, so there's a bit of a mission to get in that box, but I'm in. So should we do free gifts first of all? So they had um, two free gifts with lego.com, which were spend over uh, £75. And you got this little 12-in-1 set here. And that's the back of it there. There's the front there. Uh, 40593 is the set number. Quite a nice little set. Nothing too special, but it's okay. So we've got one of those. And also spend over £130. And you've got this here, which is the flower pot, uh, 40588 is the set number there. Really nice set, this is a gift with purchase. I do really, really rate this set, so it's nice to be able to get another one of those. And also, because I used, I think it was Telegraph voucher codes, um, I was able, again, with a, with a spend over £70, to get one of these sandwich shops, 40578. Again, nice little set, not too, not too exciting, but uh, quite a nice thing to get for free. So... What did I spend? Over £130 I had to spend. And I got myself this set here, which of course is upside down. Let's turn that round. Goodness me, it's heavy. And this is a Monkey Kid set. Uh, 80039. This is the Heavenly Realms. I'm not a huge Monkey Kid fan myself, but I have noticed that some of these sets, like sets like this, there was the fruit flower garden last year and a couple of other things that are actually doing quite well after after they've retired. Now this set is apparently retiring at the end of this year, at the end of 2023. Um, and what I did do as well with this particular order is I turned £20 worth of my uh, Lego VIP points um, into £20 and took that off the price of the bill as well. Um, I did also, when I placed this order, I did also... Um, uh, do it through uh, voucher cloud, but uh, and that was for an extra uh, twenty pounds. Uh, but that hasn't unfortunately come through. I know a few people have been having a few issues with these Groupon voucher codes and voucher clouds. Spend over a certain amount and get fifteen or twenty pounds off. So uh, my last one worked, which is the one that I got the discounts on the Boba Fett's throne room. I turned that into Amazon vouchers, but for whatever reason, this one hasn't matured and calculated yet. Now. Whenever you contact them, they say you just have to wait up to 120 days to be able to get these vouchers. I'm not hopeful it'll come through. I don't know what I did wrong. I did exactly the same as I do every single time. So why it didn't come through, I don't know. But that's just one of those things. I still managed to get £20 off the actual overall set, um, cost of this particular set. But yeah, very, very nice. Let me just sort of show you some of the details on this. I, I put it down because it's really heavy. <laughs> I'm out of breath, as you can tell. But look at all the minifigures you get with that. And just some really interesting details in the actual set. Uh, some very, very ingenious things. And I think on the back of the set here, it sort of shows you a little bit more detail. So really nice looking set this. As I say, I'm not a huge Monkey Kid fan myself, but as sets go, I think they're nice sets. They're relatively difficult to get hold of because in the UK, you can only get them from Lego and Lego.com, Lego stores. And I did notice when I was in my local Lego store the other day uh, in Southampton, had actually taken all the Monkey Kids sets off the shelves and replaced it with Sonic sets that had a bit of a reorganising store. Now whether you can still get any of these in any Lego stores in the UK I don't know 
um, but certainly they seem to have removed all the Monkey Kid sets from my local store so maybe online is the only place you're going to be able to get these kind of sets in future so okay we've got two more boxes to go I'm going to start with the larger set first of all Right, loads of packaging with this one. So this is a set, actually it's in very good condition as well. So this is a set that actually has already retired. Uh, it's a Lego art set called The Art Project. Uh, and it's a set that was on sale um, up until the end of 2022 on lego.com. Uh, it had a recommended retail price of £105, so quite expensive. It's quite heavy, so there's quite a lot of Lego in this, but obviously it's the art, one of the art things, so you get lots of little tiny pieces with these. Um, and the reason why I like this set is because it creates that, the Spaceman. Uh, and they don't advertise it very well on the front of the box. What you can see, if you look very, very closely, right at the bottom, you can see here it tells you it take, makes a spaceman, but it's sort of advertising it more as a sort of a mosaic thing rather than rather than the spaceman. But so these were £105 recommended retail. I think I got mine when I bought mine to build. I got it for about £75, but for whatever reason on Amazon in the UK they seem to still have these in stock, and they've been in stock for a while. I've been watching the price of them. Uh, and literally a couple of days ago, uh, they went down to under £50, like £47.50, something like that. Um, when you try to order more than one, it wouldn't sort of let you. You sort of could put three in there, but then it said you reached your maximum. So yeah, I could only order one of them. Um, I would order some more, but they've actually gone back up in price again to about £67. Now. So I'll keep my eye on these in the future. But these, I think they're really, really good. I think they're probably underrated. I think if I did take one of these to my Lego fairs to sell, I'd either get a picture or maybe just take that with me to let people know that this per set makes a spaceman because I think that is a lot more appealing than sort of the mosaic that comes with all of this. So yeah, this set is already retired, which is fantastic. Uh, they do sell on eBay uh, relatively low at the moment. I think they're sort of around about um, 60 to 70 pounds they sell for um, sealed on eBay. So there's certainly already a profit in these particular sets, but I just think they're really, really nice. Um, and uh, yeah, a lot of people don't know what you can actually build with this. So nice to get myself one more of those. I will be keeping my eye on Amazon to see if there's any more at that price. We have one final box. Right, so in here we have some Speed Champion sets. And we have this set here, 76911, the Aston Martin DB5. This is the 007 Aston Martin with the James Bond figure in it. Uh, this is retiring at the end of this year. Normal recommended retail price is £20. Uh, what I did with this order, there was a few additional vouchers you could click. It's, just, it's a couple of weeks ago I bought these now, but there was a couple of extra vouchers you could click. Um, and I ended up getting a total of six uh, Speed Champion sets. Three of these, three of another one. And my overall buy-in price for all of them, uh, once I've got all the discounts and special offers um, on Amazon, uh, was just over £12. £12.40 each these cost me. So I think that's a pretty good buy-in price for these particular sets. So I got three of these Aston Martins. And also got three of these here, which are the Fast and Furious 1970 Dodge Chargers. Uh, again, these, these normally retail at £20, uh, but there was an extra voucher code, then buy over four of them and you got an extra 5% off. So there's a few deals to be had. So nice to get myself some more of these. I bought quite a few of these already, both of these sets in the past. Um, let's get all the other ones out of the box there. There's two more Aston Martins there. And we've got the two Dodge Chargers. There. Right, that is everything. Time for my rearrange so I can show you everything that I bought. So I click my fingers. Right, that's pretty much everything. Uh, so some really decent sets I have to say in this haul. I think everything that I bought was actually discounted, including the set from lego.com, which I use some Lego VIP points. Nice to get myself a nice big monkey kid set. Uh, probably my best deals were the uh, Boba Fett's throne rooms. They ended up uh, working out at just over £40 each for a £90 set, which is pretty good. Yes, I did have to use some of my Amazon uh, gift card balances to be able to do that, but it was definitely, definitely worth getting some more of those while they were 
all a special offer. Uh, and just really, really pleased with everything. I mean, nice to get some sets I hadn't already got yet as well, like the city sets, the uh, the scythes, uh, and also the monkey kid sets. I don't actually have any of those yet uh, for Lego investing. Um, and again, a very, very good deal on that retired set art project set there. I know it's maybe not one of the more popular things, but I certainly think at £47.50ish, I think that was a very, very good price even managed to get myself a couple of little free gifts as well from lego.com which is always welcome but that's it for now i hope you enjoyed this lego haul thank you very very much for watching until next time take care and i'll see you then bye for now